If you're someone who maybe have like a family member or friends that enjoy eating out, but you are someone who's like trying to create more healthy eating habits and not really sure how to implement both of them together. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to maintain healthy eating habits when eating out. One thing that I like to do is look to see what the name of the restaurant is and what type of things that they tend to serve there. For me personally, if I could look at it like a day or two beforehand, that tends to work out in my favor just because it then lets me monitor like how I'm eating the days ahead of that. And so if I know I'm gonna go out Thursday and I have an idea of where we're going on Monday, then I'll take into consideration what I'm gonna eat on Tuesday and Wednesday, just so that way I'm not eating a lot of heavy meals days before. And then when going out, possibly eating another heavy meal. Another thing is that it allows you to see what's on the menu of the things that you would wanna have. And it eliminates this idea of when you get to the restaurant and liking everything everything so that you pick this, 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 and then you have like all this stuff at the table, but instead having an idea of what the menu looks like and what's on the menu is like, you could then pinpoint like little things that you're possibly interested in having. So see if you could um, first take a look at what the menu is and the name of the restaurant, just so you could have a familiar idea of the types of foods that you may be eating. This brings me to the second thing that I do, which is I end up eating lighter meals earlier in the day. When it comes to going out for dinner, if I already have an idea of what's on the menu that I'm gonna wanna pick out, I'll just eat lighter throughout the day. I'll have something that's light to where it'll still fill me up, but it's not something where I'm eating a heavier meal of like bread or any type of like muffins or anything. I don't even like muffins, but I tend to stay away from like eating heavier meals during the beginning part of my day and then just tend to eat more lighter meals in the beginning. The next thing that I like to do is either I'll do this like before I get to the restaurant or after I'm already there, but I'll choose either an appetizer or a dessert to get, but I won't get both. Now this comes for two reasons. Number one, I get full sometimes just from the appetizers alone. And then usually I'm not a sweets person, so I always usually nine times out of 10 skip dessert anyway. But one thing that has really helped is just picking one or the other. So if I know I'm gonna get like an appetizer or two, I'm not gonna get the um, desserts. If I know there's like a dessert I'm really liking, I'm not gonna get an appetizer. Or another thing that you can do is split one or the other. So either share the appetizer or share the dessert. One recent thing that happened was me and Kevin went to, it was like a nice cafe type of place. And I knew that my dish came with a side and I knew the side that I was going to get. So when it came to the appetizer of the beignet, what I suggested with Kevin is that we split the beignets instead of getting two separate trays of beignets. And to me, it's just much easier for me to still enjoy it without feeling like I'm like overeating on it, knowing that it's probably not giving me any type of nutrients, but I'm just enjoying it for the flavor itself. If there is a common appetizer or a common dessert that you and whoever you're going with tend to enjoy, instead of having one of each, one thing to do is honestly actually just split that in half. The next tip actually stems off the last one, which is pairing a veggie dish with a heavier dish. So one thing that I like to do is if I'm going to a restaurant, I tend to look at what kind of appetizers they have and what kind of entrees they have, and I see which ones I'm leaning towards to the most of each. One thing that I like to do is if we're going to, usually if we're going to like an Asian or Indian type of restaurant, we'll always end up getting like certain type of dishes. And usually one that both tend to have is something with cauliflower. And for entrees, I usually either get something with pasta or I get something with bread or I get something with some type of wrap or even rice. So one thing that I like to do is if I'm going to end up having that in my entree of something with either rice, bread, or a wrap, I like to have something with vegetables in my appetizers. And the last thing that I do is I make sure to have water throughout my day and with all of my meals. Going back to uh, eating lighter throughout the day, another thing that I do is just, I just carry around water with me to drink. This really helps because sometimes I realize I'm not, I'm not even hungry. I'm just like thirsty and dehydrated. So when I start to drink the water, it just refreshes my body and I'm just fine for like a good 
45 minutes or an hour or so and then I'll see if I'm still hungry and then probably get a light snack but one thing I like to do is just carry around my water and then when I get to the restaurant then also having water there I really do th think this helps because it also helps you reduce drinking empty calories so if you're someone who tends to like drinking juice a lot maybe replace the juice with having only a cup of juice with you and then having a mug of water to walk around with or you could just do something where you dilute the juice and then have more water in there so you're still getting some type of water intake so those are the things that i do to still maintain healthy eating when eating out to me personally i enjoy eating my meals at home because I know what's going in them. But I do have those moments when I enjoy going out and eating out. And another thing that I actually do now because we are away for Kevin's job is I give myself a, a limit of how many times I order out per week. So if maybe something where it's like, it's not necessarily going out to eat, but ordering food, one thing to do is possibly give yourself a max of how often you're gonna eat out. Because I know when we tend to go to other states, I tend to increase my ability to say yes to just eating out as opposed to making something and then that could quickly form into an, a habit you probably don't even realize until you just start feeling like your body is feeling different. So one thing that I like to do is just have a one to two stop of how often I eat out as well because it then reminds me of just like okay like what are you going to make today? What are you going to eat today? What do you need to get? Do you have everything you need? And it automatically like sparks that conversation in my brain instead of it coming to last minute when I'm hungry and I just don't feel like making anything so then I just choose to order out instead. So again those are my tips of when it comes to eating healthy while still going out. Definitely let me know if you enjoyed this video and which one is something that you plan on implementing. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!